Well, enlightenment isn't a word I like to use much. It sometimes slips out of my tongue, but I think it's an unfortunate word in many ways. First of all, it implies there is somewhere to get to, some higher state of consciousness to reach. And I think the essence of the non-dual approach is there is nowhere to get to. There is no higher state of consciousness to reach. But enlightenment has that feel about it. And I remember when I first got interested in spiritual stuff, you know, I started reading all these different texts and things, and enlightenment was there, and I thought, oh yes, you know, it's going to be some wild, extraordinary, higher state of consciousness, you know, like, I don't know, but like, there was something that was going to happen that was going to change. And over the years, I've just come to see, no, it's, it's not like that. It's one way of putting it, it's like seeing the same world, but in a, through a different lens, in a different way. And people fall into thinking that you know, if there's a goal, if enlightenment is somewhere to get to, then the I wants to get there. Because part of the e ego structure is the ego's thinking is that if only things were different, if only things were better in some way, I would be happier. And on the mundane level, it's like if only I had that woman or that car or saw this movie or that food or whatever it is, I would be happier. And we spend our whole lives chasing, I mean that's samsara, just chasing, chasing, chasing things and I'll be happier. When we make enlightenment a thing, a higher state of consciousness to be attained, the same ego mechanism hooks onto that, ah, it says, I don't need the car or the beautiful woman, if I was just enlightened, I'd be happier. And so we get into all these traditions and we go off to India and study with gurus in the hope that one day I will get enlightened. I prefer to use the word awakening, to just awakening to what is. And you know, the what is ultimately is there is awareness, there is that sense of beingness, that sense of presence, which when you open up to it brings with it that quality of deep ease that's there. And you realize that that sense of I that wants to find things, do things, be in control, is just, an, just a thought system that goes on in the mind. And so, and words get difficult here, but there's a sense of being able to step back and witness that as just something, something else which occurs in the mind. There's thoughts, there's this I thought, there's stuff, there's wanting. All of that just goes on in the mind, but ultimately there's just this sense of presence that's always there. So it isn't about getting anywhere different, it's really about stepping back from a lot of the stuff that already is to become more conscious of what's already there, eternally there, not changing. Now you may give that the word, term enlightenment, but say I think it's dangerous because it makes it seem like there's somewhere to get to.